Hey guys, Dr. David Lim, board certified laser dermatologist. Today we'll be talking about the long awaited skin needling. Um, but for safety purposes, we're not going to be using a 2.5 mil roller. We're actually going to be using a derma roller, but I'm going to teach you how to DIY at home. But the most important thing is safety. So if you're after um, skin needling using advanced techniques, um, sorry, wrong channel. This channel is about safety and DIY. So, how long have I been using skin needling for? The answer is, uh, I haven't used a derma roller like this uh, in over, seriously, in over uh, 15 years. The reason, obviously, is because derma rollers have evolved to things like um, micro needling uh, using at home devices, all the way up to derma pen. And even now, I don't use derma pen. The reason being is because we've gone up from first generation devices, which are basically needling, yeah, to second generation devices, which are basically needling but vertically, to third generation devices, which is needling but with energy, that's radio frequency, to fourth generation devices, which are basically needling but with energy, that's radio frequency, with insulation. So right now, obviously as a specialist, I use fourth generation devices, but I do not actually um, dismiss the home use of this because it all started with this, um, a derma roller. In fact, it didn't start with this, it started with a needle, a tattoo gun needle. So basically that was the evolution of uh, derma rolling. So what can derma rolling do at home? First of all, it can help with your collagen. It can stimulate collagen. It can help with fine wrinkles. So you've got to be realistic. It's not going to have a massively drastic change, but it can help. So it can help with fine wrinkles. It can help with early acne scarring. So we're talking about very mild atrophic scarring. We're talking about box scar scarring, very mild pox scarring or pick scarring. So certainly uh, derma rolling can help with that as well, as well with rolling acne scars, but early and mild. You're not going to get a drastic improvement. It can help with pigmentation. So if you have hypo or depigmentation, that can help it. Not with vitiligo, but with other causes of pigmentation. And just as a general maintenance for your skin. So it does help with pores, um, and it can help with certain types of pigmentation, but not with uh, things like melasma, it can actually make it worse. Now, for the safety aspects, um, I do not endorse anything more. If you, if you have a look at most of, the der most of the dermatology and specialists, we do not endorse anything more than this, um, anything more than um, this, sorry, which is basically a 0.5. So today I'm teaching you a 0.25 and um, a 0.5 mil dermarola and nothing like this, which is, you can look at the needles, that's, you're looking at about 2.5 to 3 mils. Um, that's dangerous territory because that can cause uh, trauma to your skin, it can cause idiosyncratic uh, scarring, it can cause nerve damage, and it can cause ripping of your skin. So we're not going to be talking about that. As for derma pen and uh, micro needling, um, obviously that's we can talk about that some other day because today it's about um, the use of a derma roller. So let's start off with what do you need? First of all, this to be safe, um, clean your skin. Okay, so you need to actually um, decontaminate your skin. So I'm teaching you the proper way, the way that we do it, and the proper way of actually um, derma rolling. So first of all. Um, just any antiseptic will do. Alcohol wipes will be fine. Uh, we use chlorhexidine. Secondly, if you're going to have at 0.5 comfortably, you need some uh, numbing cream. So links below um, in regards to uh, numbing cream. Okay, so whether it be Numbit or Emla, these can be bought over the counter. Apply it for an hour beforehand um, and, and you'll feel much more comfortable. So that's uh, number two. And the third thing is aftercare. So it's really important afterwards that you use just a gentle cleanser. Could be Cetaphil, could be whatever you like, just as long as it's got no actives. And you have to have a moisturizer, once again with no actives, QV intensive, um, Vaseline, whatever you like. Uh, and also sunscreen. Okay, so it's very important. So those are the essentials in regards to um, derma rolling. So how does derma rolling work? Basically it works by stimulating collagen and elastin. Um, it's called CIT, or Collagen Induced Therapy. There are many names for it, there are many uh, companies that make skin rollers, derma rollers, um, whatever rollers. At the end of the day, the principles are still the same. You're causing micropunctures in your skin to a certain known depth, in this case 0.5 mils. 
that stimulates um, a cascade. So basically it's cascade up in your epidermis, so the, the top part of your skin um, releases what's known as cytokines. And cytokines basically go through your basement membrane to the dermis. That stimulates your fibroblasts to actually lay new collagen. The other thing as well is that the physical act of um, uh, needling uh, actually stimulates your collagen, um, stimulates your fibroblasts and um, all the other cells to actually uh, wake up, uh, remodel collagen. The other thing it does as well is that if you've got scars, it physically denatures the scars. So that is how um, skin needling or derma rolling works. So stay tuned and I'll show you how um, to do it properly and safely at home. Okay guys, look for home needling, all you need is this. Uh, you need a gauze, you need, like I said, antiseptic, um, an emollient, uh, well basically a moisturizer, and your kit. So remember, all your kits, no matter what, is a single use only. The reason why, number one is for hygiene. Uh, number two, the needles get blunt. So you do not want blunt needles. So single use only. Doesn't matter what kit you buy. So it's not the brand which counts. It's actually, like I said, the proper technique, single use only. Sure, if you want to get titanium tips, that's great. You're gonna pay a little bit extra, that's fine. But like I said, it's single use only. That's most important. So the cheaper, the better, because at the end of the day, you're gonna throw it away and you're gonna use a new tip uh, for each time you do a roll. So hang tight and I'll show you how it's done. So guys, we are actually going to um, micro needle or derma roll Liz. And what we're gonna do is use, like I said, safety first, we're gonna use a 0.5 mil roller. So like I said, do I endorse any of these derma rollers? No, like I said, you can buy them from eBay, super cheap um, and the brand does not count. Like I said, it's a technique and it's a single use only, this is the most important thing. For Liz, what we're treating is we're treating, you can, you can come in a little bit closer and you can see what we're treating. We are treating uh, pores, we're treating, we're treating basically pores, we're treating some scarring over here. Chick is it chicken pox, Liz? Yeah. Chicken pox scarring. As you can see, she's got white scarring over here and over here as well. So we're trying to get some of the pigment back. And one of the indications for derma rolling is basically treating pores, scarring, and also pigmentation or hypopigmentation. Plus, uh, it can help her with the skin texture as well as fine wrinkles. Um, under the eye area, I do not endorse because under the eye area, if you're gonna use um, 0 0.5 mil needles, uh, you're gonna cause problems such as bruising and all. So, the reason why I don't endorse needles like three mils or five mils is very easy because of anatomy. You've got over here, you've got your facial artery. It comes out of your the little notch over here and it transverses all the way to your angular artery. Will you hit it from here? No, you won't, but will you hit it over here? Yes, you will. If you use the five mil, you're gonna hit that. Uh, you've got a very important nerve which runs half a centimeter here below, all the way up to 1.5 centimeters lateral to your brow, which is your um, branch of your facial nerve. It's called the temporal um, branch of your facial nerve, and that supplies your entire forehead. So if you're praying that using a three or five mil needle over here, you're gonna have paralysis of your entire forehead because your, your frontalis muscle here can't move. So that is why I don't endorse uh, needles which are greater than uh, this. So this is how we needle, guys. So we're gonna start conservatively. I like traction. So if you can have traction, it's good. We're stretch, stretching the skin and we're gonna go for conservative passes. So we're gonna go for this. We're gonna actually just go one, two, three, one, two, three, and then we're gonna go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. The end point of which you want is this, pinpoint bleeding. Do you see that? It's pinpoint bleeding. So that's what we want, is pinpoint bleeding, okay? So we're going, you can actually roll over moles, that's fine. You're not gonna cause any problems. But this is how you can see what using a 0 0.5 mil roller does if you do it properly. You can actually get it right down to the upper part of your dermis. And we know we're in the upper part of the dermis just because she's bleeding. So imagine if you're gonna be using things like 1.5 or two mils, that's crazy stuff because you're gonna cause so much bleeding and so much pain. 
Um, Liz here has had um, anesthetic already applied. So uh, we've taken that off. She had that on for uh, one hour. Okay, so she can still feel a tiny bit in, along the jawline. Be really careful along the jawline, guys, because that's where you can scar. Okay, so we're just going to go conservative. One, two, three. And this is where I see scarring most. As a dermatologist, when I see scarring secondary to derma rolling, this is where I see it most. So be very conservative here. A little bit of traction. Just go one, two, three. One, two, three. Be very careful here as well, you can easily scar. A lot of people are worried about pores around this area, that's fine. You can go one, two, three, one, two, three. Now for your forehead area, if you look at your forehead, you only have um, like a mill between um, your, your skin and your bone. So you wanna go very lightly, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, not with much pressure at all, and you don't need much counter traction here at all. So you can see with that, that is simple derma rolling for you guys. And like I said, I don't do this because, um, you know, this is generation one, but sure, if you want some collagen stimulation at home and you want to do it, this is the proper way to do it, and this is the way to do it safely. And right at the end, after we have um, finished with the procedure. Um, obviously, uh, she has been pre-cleansed. I skipped the cleansing bit. So, so like I said, remember we use this, which is basically an antiseptic beforehand. Do not use an antiseptic afterwards, otherwise it will sting. All you need to do is use an emollient, so something like Vaseline, QV Intensive, Aquaphor, any one of those, and just apply it there. Uh, and that's it. And basically, she'll heal up by tomorrow. No makeup at all. The pinpoint areas will, of bleeding will stop uh, within the next five minutes or so. And remember, guys, to use your sunscreen the next day. So obviously, I'm going to complete the other side, but I'm just showing you. You can see the areas of treated, which are red. This is exactly the reaction. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that um, short video on um, safe home derma rolling or microneedling uh that's the proper way to do it that's a safe way to do it remember guys stay safe uh if you if, if you see some youtube blogger out there who got a really good result using a two mil good on them um that's their good luck uh remember this is a safe channel i'm teaching you safe techniques and uh certainly look uh just stay safe whatever you do how often can you repeat that um realistically every uh three to six weeks. Uh, what else can we actually use if you want to be more advanced? Certainly you can add other things to it. Um, after I microneedle, I can add copper peptides, growth factors, PRP, um, and certainly vitamin A, B, C, the ascorbic acids, um, and the, the sky's the limit really. In her case, in Liz's case, I'm actually going to add Latisse, which is um, a prostaglandin inhibitor, which actually will help with the uh, pigmentation. So remember, microneedling is also a way to deliver active ingredients into your skin because of the channels, um, which we create in the skin. So that's why, you, that's why you don't have to go down to two mils. You can see what 0 0.5 does. It actually gets into your skin because she has areas of pinpoint bleeding. Guys, remember, stay safe, whatever you do. Please, um, if you like this, uh, like it, comment, uh, share your thoughts, chime your thoughts, uh, share this video, and uh, subscribe. Uh, by all means, please subscribe. This is a growing channel, which is great. Uh, your, your subscriptions are much appreciated. So guys, I'll see you same time, same place uh, next week for a new episode. Stay safe, guys. Bye.